What's up, guys? This is Timony. We are back with another video. Listen, y'all, it's getting really, really interesting. Like today is a little bit cold. It's a little bit cold. I'm not gonna lie. Where I am, I know where you guys are. It's hot, but where I am, it's freezing. Okay. Uh, but anyway, let's get ready um, to experience this collision of music and fashion like never before. You already know your brother one and only the best grammy award winning dj uh black coffee has teamed up with the um luxurious brand uh amiri to bring up their first to open up the first store in south africa okay the first amiri store in south africa they just opened this store yesterday actually on the 27th of november or something and when you think about brands like amiri I, I really did not think that they would get some representation like a, a black coffee you know what i mean i would think that they will probably maybe look into like a, a high end not that black coffee is not high end but when i think of amiri i'm not thinking of i don't know i don't know well, maybe this is the kind of representation that they want to bring um, in South Africa. I am not material type of person. And, you know, I know some people are really excited. A lot of people have been wearing fake. I'm not even going to lie. It gets really hilarious when you actually see people wearing these designs. When you definitely know that a person does not even have a credit card. First of all, a person does not even have a credit card to buy these designs online. First of all, Amiri is not, it was not even in South Africa. Of course, people, it's not like people have not been selling it in this store. Some people have been selling it in the store. But right now, now that we have the actual outlet where people can actually go and buy it's going to get really interesting. Well, this is located in the heart of Johannesburg. And this Amiri thing is taking fashion into the whole new level. Okay. Um, but be warned though, even though we're all excited for this, the price for this, you know, the prices are so expensive. As you already know, this is the high end designs. The jeans starting at 14,000 rands to 33,000 rand. Imagine why would I even walk in there? Like, why would you even walk in there and try to, you know, when you know that you don't even have 14,000 rands in your freaking uh, bank account? You know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure. Sometimes shopping is, the, is, is therapy or like window shopping is therapy. 14,000, the cheapest thing that you can get in there is 14,000. Not even, not even a bracelet? Come on. A Miri head, a Miri cap is $450. A cap. You know what I mean? That is crazy to me. That's not all though, because he is not in this venture alone. He has brought in his friend. I don't know if they are friends, to be honest, uh, Euphonic, uh, along to make sure that fashion collaboration hits all the spots. The two powerhouses are ready to conquer the fashion industry. I mean, we're ready to see what's really going to happen with, um, with this new store that they just opened. Um, I don't know, I'm not a fashion guru, fashion designer type of person. You know what I mean? But let's talk about something that's really interesting. Among all these designs, they have um, cooked up something that's very, very special for Black Coffee. And it's a jacket, the work of art. This is not just a jacket. It's very intimate and it has three powerful female figures on it that represent the ethnicity and the background and not just that alone, but the black coffee's uh, the heritage. Well, the jacket actually has a, a embroidery of uh, three females that played a major role in um, black coffee's life. So it actually represents the heritage. It represents the background and everything. This is just, you know, he even said that this is this is very close to his heart because he's always carrying them around wherever goes it has a um embroidery art picture of the uh Kota grandmother and then the zulu grandmother and then it also has the picture of mother black coffee you know he proudly announced this on his on the um on the social media uh today and he just couldn't help but shed emotions behind it you know we are all for it we are all for you know um i've always liked black coffee but honestly after watching the um the interview that he did with McG, you know, I really respect 
the art. I really respect the hustle. I respect how much he worked hard. And for him bringing this star in South Africa, man, that's, that's a big move right there. Well, speaking of the fashion and the brand new stores being opening, now Makosa, they're going to open their first store in this Big Apple City. Um, the first store will open next year around February 2024. They're going to be opening their first store. I'm just kind of looking forward to see um, how people are going to react. And I, I cannot afford it. I'm not even going to lie. I cannot afford it. But I know that Michelle Obama has actually rocked their stuff. A lot of celebrities have been rocking my closer's um as designs and it's really refreshing to see the culture being spread across the pond it's getting really 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 interesting congratulations are in order um to uh, laduma i guess he's the producer the uh, no, no the executive designer behind the brand but you know they are doing tremendous work you know spreading this brand across you know uh, overseas and they're going to open that festo in new york downtown soho we are down for it maybe i'll just take a flight and go to new york and see what they got going on in the store um but we're looking forward to that and i don't think they have updated that yet on their website but you can check their website out and see if they if they have something there as well but i know that the the, the africans living in new york especially the south africans i know damn well that they're going to be flocking in that store because i'm not going to lie their designs are really really outstanding and very distinctive but you know we are so excited to see the, the you know the african brands actually maneuvering into um united states maybe they will have a, another store somewhere in uk who knows but we are so excited you know they have a couple of stores in johannesburg Durban, cape town and Quebec. now uh, they're set to make a mark on the lower side of um soho district in big apple we definitely know we definitely are waiting for the grand opening because we know that <laughs> they are not just gonna set up the store there without any grand opening you know what i mean they supposed to have like a red carpet over there but um we're looking forward to that hmm. i live three hours away from new york so i think i can make it but congratulations um you know this brand we know that the brand deserves a lot all right so guys thank you so much for tuning in hit the subscribe hit the like hit the share if you feel like doing that i'll see you guys with another video next time peace out